Oh shit, my boys. It's happening. Fucking PS4? And my mic! It sounds different! Yes. I'm doing some new things with Let's Play because we are going to be doing Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. On the PS4. I have it on PS2 as well, but I'm doing it on PS4 because that's achievements. I'm going to go through all the Jack series. Jack 1 to fucking Daxter to 2 to 3 to X to that fucking PSP game. We're going to do it all. We're starting off here. Let's go. Oh yeah, it begins. Hey guys, this is Zin here and we're doing Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. On PS4, PS2, all that bullshit. Now I played this game years ago, multiple times, and I have 100% it 100 like fucking multiple times. This is one of those games that I have done so much that I know pretty much everything about it. So, we're gonna go, and we're going to 100% Jack and Daxter 1. Gain all the achievements, because I haven't gotten shit yet. I haven't started this PS4 version until now. And we're gonna fucking go and destroy this fucking game. Okay, we're gonna make it a, we're gonna make it our bitch. We're gonna make it our bitch. And we're gonna be starting off this semi-marathon of Let's Plays right here. Well I'll do Jack 2 or Dex or whatever after this. Probably not, but right now, we're doing Jack 1, we're saving, and we're gonna start this bitch off with the opening cutscene. Oh, first I'm gonna save. Yeah. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey! Uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk! Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly! <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time! 
Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you gonna keep yapping? Or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping. Because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! So yeah, welcome to Geyser Rock, the first level of the game, which is essentially a tutorial level. This one is very small, and we could try leaving right now, but... You can't come back to the warp gate until you find all four power cells on this island. Yeah. So we have to continue on forward and get some shit. Sign off these box. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Thanks. So, yeah, that is the Sage and Kira. And we're gonna be hearing them a lot throughout the game. Uh, in that little machine. But yeah, we can explore a whole sort of this fucking level, even though there's no point in doing so because so much of this is just vast emptiness. And they want you to just go forward. So all this nice area that is just around here at the very beginning, completely pointless, just here for show. Here to give it a look. Never really actually used any capacity or reasoning. But first of all, we have to go and get to our first real important collectible. This. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. There are a shit ton of precursor orbs, and I'll begin every single one of them. Because we have to in order to actually understand the game. There's also another collectible that is very important to us, and it's essentially our 
like stars, minor stars, whatever, this game. And that happens to be something that only appears in this game and never properly ever again. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A grab zoomer. Yep, the power cells. Let's go ahead and just get right right now. It's a very first power cell. Every time you get a power cell, you get this nice little animation. And you also get your progress saved. And it tells you all the savings on, so. Also, there are these things. Hey, you found one of my scout blocks. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the workers must have captured them all. Yeah, there are seven of these little flies, and we just have to grab them all to get ourselves a uh, precursor orb and a power cell. Fuck. I'm already fucking everything. Here's the power cell! There are always seven flies in every level, and they will always give you a power cell. Wow! That last scout fly had a power cell! I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. Yep, she basically just said what I just said. Not only that, there are also some nice little power-ups in this game that we'll be needing. For instance, these green orbs give us health, and these blue orbs over here... That's Blue Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Yep, we will be grabbing those because they will make us fast, and they will bring all shit towards us. So any orbs that are around, they will automatically lock into us. These are also needed to break some things that we can't normally break, or activate things that we can't normally activate, because Blue Eco is basically a key as well. And we're going to be needing the Blue Eco for numerous moments. Cheers. I, I really need to know that. So yeah, you have a little bar there that shows you how much blue eco you had. You don't have a limited amount, but ultimately you gotta get all the shit. This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. Wish I did and I could have used this, but then he had to talk and now I couldn't do it. But don't worry, there's another way to get blue eco from these vents. than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Yep, and we'll be using these as well. Though they are very limited currently, and I'll explain why later on in the game. But right now, open the door, get the power cell. That's our first achievement. It shows up right there. And there are a good number of achievements, and it all just means I'm the game and you got it. Good work. So. Thanks, Sage. I couldn't have figured that out myself. Also, there's this shit. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos, or one big green one, to increase your health. Even though we just did went and got this shit, and we know. Also, it's like a fucking first person button. You can use that if you want. It will be of use later on in the game when we get another certain eco. But right now, it's just to look around, and it has no purpose. You can jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. Got it. And that's guys of rocks precursor orbs. We got all 50. There's a shit ton more, but there you go. And we got all four power cells and all seven flies. But how do you know you got all the shit though? Well, simply put, there is a way to notice your progress outside the game telling you, hey, you got all the precursor orbs, or, you know, you know when you got all the power cells and all that crap. But first, this thing. You press this button, it turns it on. Only very few times will you ever find this. And there is a use to this, but right now, here is the actual thing. We have to find the power cell of the door, climb out the fucking shit, get the same, uh, flies, you know, do all these objectives, and there you go. So, there's also, how many got here, there's 2,000 precursor orbs, and there are 112 flies, 
And in total, there are 101 power cells. Don't, won't tell you that, but I'm just letting you know right now. And that's it for now. Uh, so I'm guessing we're just going to have to, you know, fuck off and go straight back home, back to the Sage. Because we're done here with Geyser Rock. There's no point being here. So back to Green Hage's Hut, which is the only place we can actually go to in this portal. Uh, sure, why not? Let's go back and get yelled at or something. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And in no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My Don Green Eco Collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Called it. Now, we could just continue on doing these objectives that he's given us, but if you leave and then come back, you can actually talk to him again. And if you do that, you will get the following cutscene. Some brave adventurers you two are. Back already and without clearing my block eco-harvesters. They're on the far side of the beach, boys. Now, get moving! Okay, got it, Sage. Before we actually go and get moving, someone supposed to have to talk to you right now, and that is Kira. And she is right below the Sage's hut. So all I have to do is just drop down from here, and there you go. There she is, right there. Let's talk to her. Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-grab zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. And that's basically all we need to really talk to you right now. There are some people to talk to in this area, but we're not going to continue right now. We will move on with Sandover Village soon, but currently, not really. Because right now, I'm ending the part. So, next time on Jack and Dax of the Precursor Legacy, we'll be going through Sandover Village, checking out the place, you know, seeing all the villages here, seeing what levels we can actually deal with, you know, get some more Precursor orbs and power cells and such, dealing with all the bullshit the Sage wants us to do, all that stuff. I'm kidding. We're not going for Sandover Village. Next time, we are actually going to this area right over here by this cave. I don't want to grab any of the orbs yet, but this is the Forbidden Jungle. Now, why am I doing the Forbidden Jungle next time and not to sand over or the fucking beach? Because the way this works, this is actually a smart option to go here first. So we'll go to Sentinel Beach later on, but right now, next time on Jack and Daxter 1, the Precursor Legacy, if I can just avoid again these fucking orbs against the bridge. Fuck! Whatever. We'll be doing Forbidden Jungles, so I'll see you all next time for that, for this will be our first level, and it'll make sense for certain reasons. See you then!